Okay, I have some bad news. Been a crazy busy day here in New York City filming a bunch of people who we are gonna share with you on Space Monkeys episodes coming up over the next few weeks. But this week, just a little bit of a shorter alpha dump. I'm gonna leave it to C-Saint and Peenin to give you all the information that they've been collecting all week. And we will see you again very soon. Just remember, new governance show on Monday. And take it away, Peenin. Yudel Dao, having sold out in a rush last week, had an incredible 1500 KSM in volume with a floor 5X above selling price. What are these rainbow tickets? The top news item of the week, however, has to be Exosama's incredible launch on OpenSea. Wait, aren't we Dotsama? This brilliant strategy of the Moonsama community to launch on OpenSea is to attract attention on ETH before migrating NFT holders to Moonbeam, where users will experience composable and fully playable NFTs, many for their first time. It looks like it might work, too, with Exosama's currently dominating volume at rank 1 and 800 ETH in the last 24 hours at the time of writing, with a floor ranging between 3 and 4 Ethereum. With Gromlin still holding a strong floor at 2.6k Glimmer on Rare Sama and public pressures Exosama pods showing in Impressive early orders on chain. Normal macro sentiment does not seem to apply to this community. But what else is going on in NFT land? Well, there's the first fully on chain Wasm smart contract game live on Sheedon called the Open Emoji Battler. Codadot has officially launched on Basilisk. The first Bifrost collection is coming on Singular. Several builders have discussed NFTs on Polkadot in Berlin. Skylab's sale for 3D equipables is coming very soon with details on price and drop. The Tricky NFTs team recently published an article on proof of perkability. Subwallet launches its first metaverse in BitCountry. Unique Network explains how Lemonade Social uses its advanced NFT technology solutions for Web3 ticketing. Materia Prima reveals the name of their game that will use Remark. And, on a more sobering note, Chaos Collective members Rich Valentino, Crypto Skulls, and Haruna Hart are in a very tough situation in Russia. Richard Valentino says, Our country has announced a partial mobilization, which will lead to a general mobilization. The referendum will be in the next few days. After that, Russia will start a full-scale war with Ukraine. At the moment, I fall under the category of private in the Russian army. Now, the first reserve is being recruited for mobilization. I fall under the second reserve, which may already happen in the next week or two. I fear for my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am against war in any of its manifestations. Please refer to the subsocial article for links and ways to support them, and look out for Richard's upcoming album release in the next few days. As we navigate the auctions on the sister chain, Zoka's taken flight and hit their crowd loan goal as Polkadot's next auction is ready to launch. Looks like it's smooth sailing from here. Lady Kusama is back in business. Well, at least Quartz is well above the competition. Now on to other news, as Totem is now producing blocks in the Polkadot Relay, getting their accounting focus pair chain up and running. Crust has partnered with Metamir to help bridge data from Web 2 to Web 3. Check out Amuse's new UI. Nova deploys some fixes to Solar Beam Mobile Dab while slinging some poop. And GitArch's private beta is now officially open for registration. It looks like Parathread 2058 was none other than Water Protocol, the blockchain for ethical commodities. Learn more about Water with our deep dive link below. Parallel Finance deploys their own wallet. Subquery announces an airdrop to their ambassadors and indexers. And looky here, Polkadot and Kusama topped the developer charts over the past 30 days. Days. Shit is getting thrown all over the eco as Parallel and a star prepare to bring poop cross chain. That's all for me. Back to you, Jay. Thanks very much, guys. And super saddened to hear that some of our Russian friends are going to be sent off to fight our Ukrainian friends. Um, war just makes no goddamn sense. If you want to help, again, we're going to have Rich Valentino and Haruna Hart's sub IDs and singular accounts in the description below, where you can take an opportunity to support their journey out of Russia. This week, we'll play you out with a track from Rich. It's called Digital Punk. It's from the Canary's Nest collection. And no matter where you are, stay safe and have a great weekend, everybody. Yeah.